wouldn't mind getting a bigger car doll. What's the dream car? I could see me. Um, I I could see me going for the Santa Fe. <laughs> Or do you want me to aim Is a bit your, higher? Can we aim? Like, okay. Can we aim right. a bit well, I've, always loved a, I've always loved a Toyota RAV4. Well, are you fucking... <laughs> what about a Toyota Kluger at the very least? <laughs> okay, now let's go the Lamb Cruiser. Chloe Lamb can sponsor Cruiser. me. <laughs> Lamb Cruiser. <laughs> hey, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. I really was just trying to think of some goals before. And the one that I could think of was eat slow. I mean, that's obviously not a real fucking goal. Since Chump Pass, I never really looked into the future because it kind of scared me. I was like, where? It was like all black there for a minute. I was like, mm. what are you? But now I have many. I've got someone to live for. And like, you know, obviously shit ha stuff happens in life, but my life is pretty good. So I'm just going to keep living for him. And I actually do feel like I have done because of Chump as well, like because me and him bought our house together and like, we, you know, had our dog and we did a bunch of like life things. I don't feel like I missed out on stuff that I wish I was doing because me and him did heaps together. But now that he's gone, I just always do find it funny to like assess what I'm going to, or where I want to be, where I could really see myself because I never imagined he wouldn't be here. But Minimu will be 11. <laughs> 12. That's hectic. <laughs> Please, let's not. I don't even think about what? that. What? Can we talk? Can we do a five-year plan? I can't even think about that. That's nuts. I mean, I think we'll still be living on the Gold Coast. I couldn't really see us yeah. not. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a bigger car, doll. I could see me. Goal? I could see me. What's the dream car? I could see me. Um, well, look, I've got the high Hyundai Tucson now. I call it the Tuscan because <laughs> Tucson's a fucking weird word. <laughs> But I, I could see me going for the Santa Fe. <laughs> like, or do you want me to aim a bit your, higher? Can we aim? Like, okay. Can we aim right. a bit well, I've, always than the a, I've always loved a Toyota RAV4. Like Let's not... fucking go higher than the okay, RAV4. Okay, Come okay. on, you got this. Okay, well, maybe Uncle Nini can goal, sponsor me. Goal, goal, we'll Toyota go... RAV4. Are you fucking... <laughs> What about a Toyota Kluger at the very least? <laughs> okay, now let's go the Lamb Cruiser. Chloe Lamb can sponsor Cruiser. me. The, the Lamb Cruiser. <laughs> that oh, was Chump's dream car, so I'm going to get the I'm Lamb ready. Cruiser for him. <laughs> Jack a few lambs in the back. Yeah. I saw a Lamborghini out the front of a restaurant last night, oh. and I'm like, they are the rankest cars, sorry, but like. I, I feel like they're a matchbox car. Like I, I like being up. Like I need oh. to be in a big SUV, and like a mum car. What me is people are always like, oh, listen to them. And I'm like literally closing my ears. I'm like, I don't want to fucking hear a motor. Like I hate the sound of the, the revving and when, when cars go zoom. I'm like, ah. We like, went to a few years ago when we went to Coachella, um, this brand were, gave Paul and I and our other friend Chris Lake, um, who's a DJ and his wife, the opportunity to like, borrow like a really nice car to drive out to the desert and back to LA and they smartly like picked like a like a Range Rover like oh, a big comfy yeah, car yeah, Paul's yeah. like no I need to get the Aston Martin and I'm like really so we get this Aston Martin honestly it was just like the boot could not nah. even fit my handbag in it and so we basically had to give all of our luggage that was coming out to Coachella to Chris and Gita to drive out mm. because not even like like the tiniest bag would fit and your legs are like straight. So like nah. you don't have any bend in your legs. So by the time we've driven like three or four hours to get to Coachella Valley, you've got like no feeling in your toes because your legs are that straight. And he's like thought he was that good, like zooming up the highway and oh. like waving and like, you know, giving shackers to people and shit. And I'm like, this Revving. is the lamest thing I've the ever. Please don't associate me with this trip. I like to, to be high up. Like, give on me a road. big beast van, and like I, car. When I'm in those little tiny top cars that are fancy and shit, not that I've ever really been in a Lamborghini or whatever they are, I feel very claustrophobic. Yeah. It's like, like, I don't tight. really like being like in a little ant mobile. Yeah. But anyway, anyway SUVs for life. Oh, yeah, don't sponsor me. I know, I know you're probably looking at sponsoring me Lamborghini and stuff, <laughs> but, yeah, just don't worry. Don't Toyota worry. Toyota, if you're listening. Where <laughs> um, do you see your guys' self in 10, ten years. years, in 2023? Obviously, I'm gonna, we're going to have kids and that's just like a harp on about that all day, so I'm not even going to put that in there. That's just like a obvious, a given. An, a given goal. Yeah, yeah um, it is. God. Where's Darling Shine going? 
I don't like I I a goal for us as a couple. I see us really evolving this brand. Like I would really like to. Oh, me and you, or yeah, you and Paul, you and us as a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I want to see Darling Shine grow outside of. Obviously, we want to grow this podcast, but we want to grow outside of the podcast and really be advocates and like speak passionately, passionate, passionately about mm. um, the topics that we feel really strongly about like IVF and miscarriage and grief and all that and just really and and try and you know help as many people as we possibly can like obviously the podcast is one level but I think that there's different levels that we can you know bring to bring to others I don't know what if that's how you yeah, say it I can definitely see, um, see us going far and wide with our stories it's already growing as we speak we've got a bit of a team behind us now which is really exciting um we've gone from like a three-man team to a, like, 400-man team, which is a little bit overwhelming, but we fucking love it. I feel like big things are coming. Yeah, really big things are coming. But on a personal level, like, mm. I would imagine we would I, – I think that I – yes, I love the travel and everything like that, but I would imagine that we would have, like, very established places. Like, Bases. my year would – because I we were obviously going to have children by then. I would like to be like, okay, this, like, January through April we're here in L.A., you know – Eight, yeah. eight May through October, we're in Ibiza and like really have those set in stone places and obviously have mini, you and Mini Moo around. I mean, I guess when you have kids on tour, you'll have to have those strict bases yeah, for exactly. their school life. Or I know yeah. you might homeschool and stuff, but fish will have to fly in and out yeah. and you'll just have yeah. your places. That so you I, I guess it would be like a little bit more routine, although I, d- I do love this like fast life. It's amazing, yeah. but obviously it's something that like. Paul's going to do it till the day he dies because he just absolutely loves Loves every single thing about his job. But I think that for me personally, like I think that it would be good to like have a little bit more stability yeah. Um, and especially for work as well. It's a little bit, it's definitely easier if we're in one position. Absolutely. Um, Goals, goals, goals. I know. I feel like such a dud. I don't have any like big goals, but... (laughs) I mean, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy and healthy and I just want to bring yeah. up a happy, healthy egg. Yeah, That's same. That's Minnie and yeah. Rummy. Everyone, yeah, happy, healthy and, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I want to get her skating. I want to get Minnie into like some sort of skate school. That's actually a bit of a goal. Not a skate school, but I yeah, want to get her on the Minnie? skateboard, on the half pipe, ripping. What do you see Minnie doing? Skating, bro. That's what <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm aiming for. I feel like chick skaters are so sick. And, yeah, no, there is actually a skate school, I think, near us where you can actually pull your kids out of legit school and they go to a skate yeah, school. Yeah, she's going there. That's where Minnie's 100%. enrolled in. And you can just imagine it with all the gear, yeah, like, on so her cute. arms and legs covered in, like, fucking padding and shit. So cute. And just ripping on the skate bowl. Um, is there something that you have accomplished as an adult that you think that your younger self would be really proud of? Oh my God, this podcast. Holy moly. My younger self, I could not even get up like in year 12 even or even at uni and present to the class like an assignment. Really? I, no, you didn't you know that we were never we in, in classes class together. together. But like everyone in my classes knew, you were always in the smart fucking classes and shit, <laughs> but everyone in my classes knows that that just like brought me to absolute agony, the thought of having to stand up. And it's weird because I'd be friends with everyone in the class, but just the thought of having to read out in like in front of people, like, no, nah, I just. So, so what made you say f- yes to this? You bullied me into it. Like you physically did. You begged and begged and begged and begged. And I did was like, I? do you like not remember? No. So Lottie and I did this live online where we were talking about Ben and Chump. Like so Lottie's Lott- my widow friend. And we did this live on Instagram and then everyone was writing. It went really well. Do you remember that first live? It yeah. was quite soon after Chump passed and I met this widow overseas we did this live to chat about grief and stuff and it went really well on Instagram. There was like thousands of people watching, which was like weird. Like I just was blown away and there's so many people coming, please start a podcast. Da, 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 da. And I was just like, oh my God, that just scares me. Like I was literally hyperventilating at the thought of doing a live that went for an hour. That was so scary. I was panicking about that. And then the lots of people saying do a podcast. And I was just like, lol, lol, lol. And then you were like, let's do it. Da, 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 da. And I think I thought, genuinely thought, obviously this is going to go nowhere. We will suck. No one's going to listen. I've got nothing to lose because no one's going to listen. So who cares? And you were just all misconfident. And I was just really thinking like, 
no one, this is literally going to last a month. Let's just give it a go for a lol. And Brit was like with us, like Brit, our old producer, love you, Brit, um, was all keen too. And it just fucking took off. It's really funny quickly. because like now looking back, I'm like, what was I thinking? Because like, I'm not when, sure. No, but like, <laughs> I was thinking, I'm thinking now, like, what did we actually think we were going to talk about? Like, obviously you have your story with Chumpy and everything like that. But at the time I didn't really have shit going for me. Like I would literally was like going into my first boy. round of IVF thinking, thinking that it was just going to be first the, 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 the podcast comes around and I announce that I'm pregnant and then like three years later, literally, but not pregnant. And so I guess it's like evolved from there. But like. It's so funny. I have so many people be like, 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 yeah, we have so many people come up and be like, so what are you going to talk about next season? And we're like. And they're like, oh, knowing you two, something will fucking happen that you can talk about. And I'm like, well, now we're in the space where two young females that have heaps to talk about in this world where, like, mm. people are now really valuing our opinion, well, young females' opinions and what, what our take is on the world and certain taboo topics and things. Like, it, mm. it makes sense and I know I see our place here. Yeah. But I think you've got that entrepreneur mind where you're always thinking, how can we, what can I do, what can I build? And then it did just work. And to be honest, I thank you so much for it because you got me out of my shell. Not that I wasn't confident in heaps of ways, but just talking about emotions and like mm. talking like to a camera or a fucking whatever this is, a microphone. And it's made my therapy. I, I literally don't know what I would do without it because let's be honest, when we're sitting down for coffee or, I mean, we have real, really real chats on here. Yeah. A lot of the time we save up our real chats for this so that we. It's funny because I actually a lot of the time, like us sitting here having this chat right now, it's like you forget that it's fully being recorded. And like I have conversations on here that I probably wouldn't have with like even some of my best mates. It's so weird because I actually fully forget that this is going out now to like a lot of people where just every single thing that comes out of our mouths on here is just like so real and so raw it's and like scary. nothing is su sugar-coated. And we, I think that that's why we get so much out of this because it is like our therapy sessions together. I think 2023 is such a big year for us. Like obviously now starting with listener, like we've got this amazing team behind us. We're consistently going to be going all year round instead of us deciding that we want to have like a 10 week break. You know, we have to report to people now yeah, and like, scary. we're really excited to, like, reporting we've got... to you was bad enough. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that it's just so exciting that we do get to like, you know, talk about topics outside of our own personal lives now too. So yeah. the, yeah, the podcast is really going to evolve and I'm really excited to be able to get some of the guests that we have coming on and, it's and just learn about, I think as well, like going through what I've gone through with my IVF and the fertility struggles and everything like that, it's opened my eyes up to so much more. Like mm. I've learned so much about the female body, so much about my reproductive system, so much that we should have learned in school. And it blows my absolute mind yeah. that we are not taught this in school, even just about your period and your menstrual cycle and like the different stages and like when you're ovulating and when you're like fertile window is like how the hell we are not taught that in oh, school. Oh, but make sure mind. we can um, know what Pythagoras theorem is and what exactly. A plus fucking Z on B and C is. Yeah, exactly. Like and, and yeah. also just teach us how to play the recorder and shit just one more time. I want to know how to play three blind mice. So important. <laughs> yeah, fully. I know. So, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just like there's just so many exciting things to come in this space. And, like, yeah, we're really excited for everyone to be on the ride with us.